I'm Ryan. And this is our bus conversion. You can check us out at vivalabuslife.com. Okay, so I noticed this on the way home from work the other day. And uh, starting up in this cockpit, it's one of the first things I noticed when I walked in. How is it driving long distances? Uh, it's not the most comfortable cockpit. chair. Um, it's definitely a lot of work. Yeah, driving. and there's no speed control, so you definitely have to uh, um, be constantly paying attention and adjusting things. Uh, also, it's with it being a big old bus, uh, it kind of has a little looseness in the wheel, so it's definitely uh, not the easiest driver. And it's a big heavy bus, so going over those passes, you're going like 30 <laughs> miles an hour. Yep. <laughs> so these controls up here, that's pretty... Uh, Pretty interesting. What what do all those do? I think they're pretty authentic from um, the interior lights to the wipers and some um, defrost and heating options as well as our aftermarket stereo system. I was going to say that doesn't look 1990 to me. No. Yeah. How is the audio in here? Because I noticed you have speakers right up there and you it have one in the back. Well. Yeah, the audio is pretty good um, and it runs off of... Uh, it off runs our, off batteries our battery system for the fridge and stuff so you can play at any time and it won't drain your starter batteries so you do have a nice view going right out front even though it looks like you have picked up some rock chips did that happen on the way up or was that no, like that when you bought it existing. Yeah, really? most, yeah all the chips are existing um, I'd hate to have to try and replace this window <laughs> I'm sure that they're not too cheap so before us the bus traveled from North Carolina all the way through the south across Texas up through California into BC and back to Colorado where we picked her up in Fairplay, which is also the same town that South Park is based out of. Mm. And that is why her name is Wendy. Awesome. So you said that you bought it um, as already conversion. So um, what aspects was, of the cabinetry was already here? And what have you done yourselves to, to this bus? Well, the floor was already here and the cabinets up top are already here and this white cabinet. Um, but the And the sink system was already here also. Yes. So how does the sink work in this? So here is our sink system with a foot pump. Oh, cool. Here's the foot pump. This is our clean water and our dirty water. Pump it out. And you find that to be adequate for, for what you need? Uh, for now, it's all right. It does good for basic stuff. You can wash your hands and unwash the food you need. Uh, yeah, like try to if we really need to wash lots of things, we'll try to find a sink with like true running water. But it's it's plenty for you know day to day use. So these up here were existing. Mm -hmm. yes. These two and here, and the and one in the, the back, one in the back. The bed were already existing. Um, okay, but we did rebuild the bed area and. Um, the benches here which also cover the, the wheel wells so you kind of have to have them there absolutely um, but yeah the bed was a lot lower uh, and we decided to raise it just so that all our gear would fit um, you can kind of see that we have a bunch of stuff in there yeah it's an open space oh, wow. storage um, this front section ends up being sort of a catch-all for things that we use constantly and so your gear like what type of gear do you have in here that you you have stored down here? Um, everything from uh, climbing gear, uh, that's rock and ice, um, we have ski gear, uh, fishing gear, um, just all of our outdoor stuff, plus um, we also have, all of um, our clothes with us. That yeah, extra clothes storage is down here. So like all our winter stuff that we don't need right now is actually still with us. We don't have anything really stored right now. And then everything we use daily clothes-wise are up in these um, upper cubbies. Okay, cool. And the uh, the storage up here, do you use this for food? Do you use it for appliances? Um, um, cookware and dishes and stuff on this side. Um, some food here. And we're still kind of, um, with our fridge and freezer here, we were hoping that we could run both of them off our battery system, but we found that uh, we don't have enough storage to run them both. Uh, so we will be changing it out. We'll probably use a bigger fridge with an attached freezer and we'd like to build in a pantry along the side um, of the fridge. And when do you think you're going to do that? Is that foreseeable uh, future? Or? Probably this winter. winter. Yeah, between the winter and spring, um, we kind of have some downtime in that land in that area. So. And how, how did you do your bed? Did you do a custom little uh, area for that particular mattress? Or how, how did you go about getting it, your bed set up? It's a standard queen uh, mattress. Um, so 
Uh, yeah, we just went and bought, it's just like an 8 inch memory foam mattress uh, from Walmart. Uh, we went with a shorter mattress uh, just so we'd have more space um, in the back more there. Uh, yeah, so we just bought a standard mattress and built it out to fit the mattress. And is that comfortable for you, that, that standard queen? Because you said oh, definitely. you two plus your dog and your cat. Right. Yeah, we couldn't, there was no way we could make it work on a full. So that's what we kind of had to go with the and queen. It, it was a full before and we were normally sleeping on a queen anyway, so we knew that that size would work for us. Well, it sounds like this is more like an outdoor type vehicle in the first place. So um, having that extra storage space, I'm sure didn't really bother you too much no, going no, with the no. bigger bed. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. We knew we wanted the storage space. So the bigger bed wasn't, um, you know, it, it's just a little bit bigger than a full anyway. But yeah, the extra space was nice to have underneath the bed. And how has a bus conversion been going for you on the road? Has it been easy to drive, easy to park, easy to get in and out of places? Um, the parking has been a little bit of an issue, um, but at least since it's a short bus, uh, it's not terrible. Um, it does, surprisingly, it turns really well. Uh, so it, I don't find like getting in and out of my like, tight parking lots is too bad. Um, but and it I is, think it's nice that it's, it's a single unit too. Like it's not a trailer and I think that makes it a little bit easier to drive. <laughs> And how are the windows? Have, have the windows held up for you? Are they leaky or have they, uh, the have windows, they done all right? The windows aren't too leaky. There's a few that, if anybody's ever ridden an old school bus, you know, these little plastic tabs break. Mm -hmm. So there are some of the windows that don't open, um, but I think it's only three of them. The rest of them all have been fully functional. Uh, and with the with the blinds, like it's just a rope system? <laughs> yeah, it's hooks. just a rope with these hooks and you can just pull it across. And um, you know, clip each yeah, we uh, hook them together so curtain to the next one over. And uh, up here in Alaska, um, it is light here a lot. And have have the system has a system that you've been using. Does that work pretty well? in in these conditions, or we've had to we've had to add um, extra material. We're really just using like um, bath towels to help to add to the curtains so that it blacks it out. But so far, it's worked pretty well. And a blanket across this front section here. Awesome. Well, if, uh, if anybody was trying to uh, keep up with your journeys, follow you as long in your travels, how could they do that? You can find us on vivalabuslife.com. You can also look me up on Facebook under Gentry Outen. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Chris.